in front of a podium in front of a seated audience of Underground Links members. Hoffman. Okay, yes, I have called you all here for a sad announcement, okay? As you know, I, Tom Murphy, am resigning as the executive producer of Saturday Night Live Snoddle. The Underground Links cheer wildly. A standing ovation ensues. Cuts to a few minutes later. Hoffman. Okay, well, I'm happy the news didn't hit you too hard, okay? Anyway, I'm sure you're all curious why I resigned. Cuts to Michael O'Donoghue, who says, We don't really care. We're just thrilled you'll be leaving. Hoffman. Okay, thank you, Mr. O'Donoghue. Okay, I'd love to retort with an inappropriate remark. However, unfortunately, I'm being forced to resign based on YouTube, our public station, outside of an email chain and a few text messages. Having banned Snoddle 97 titled Macro Hard Shrugged. Cuts to Paul Allen who says, Those bastards! Hoffman, right. Anyway, I guess they thought I went a little overboard when I claimed that Redacted, based on a blackmail from Redacted, agreed to do business with Redacted, only to have outfoxed them by making the various Redacted a kill switch to be used at his discretion. So I want to be careful to not say anything that will harm anyone or anything, okay, particularly the profit margins of otherwise profitable biotechs. Okay, anyway, so I do want Snoddle to continue as an institution, okay, albeit a neutered one. Okay, therefore, I considered 20 dead eunuchs for the position of executive producer in my stead, okay, and now I will go through each candidate. The underground links collectively grow. Hoffman, okay, the first I considered was opera singer Carlo Maria Michelangelo Nicola Brosky. Okay, who went by the one-word stage name of Farinelli. Okay, and became a eunuch in order to hit the high soprano notes as a singer. Cuts to James Gandolfini, who says, You still here, Chief? If you're leaving, leave. Hoffman, all right, big game, James. Okay, if you wouldn't mind indulging me, okay, as I get to my chosen successor. Okay, anyway, Farinelli was not selected as a successor but he will be tonight's musical guest. Okay, now the next candidate was Sporus. Okay, who was a young boy who Emperor Nero took a fancy to, who Nero then castrated and made his empress to replace his wife, Fabia, who Nero had previously stomped to death while she was pregnant with their child. Cuts to Strom Thurman, who says, And you thought Joe Biden was bad? Hoffman, right? Okay. At least Biden's not Emperor Nero. Okay, Sporus was considered. But ultimately, I found his presence would distract Don Rickles too much. Cuts to Rickles, who says, You still here with that Microsoft dick of yours, Skippy? Hoffman, no, I'm, I'm closing the gates on these sort of back-and-forth shenanigans, Mr. Rickles. Okay, that's why I need a neutered replacement. Okay, so the next candidate I considered was uh, King Regent Pathinus. Okay, now Pathinus once tried to gain favor with Julius Caesar by killing and beheading one of his enemies, Pompey. Okay, however, this totally backfired, and it only disgusted Caesar and made him mistrust Pathinus' leadership skills. Isn't that right, Caesar? Cuts to an empty chair. Hoffman, ah, uh, that's right. Okay, anyway... The next candidate I considered was Sima Qian, okay, the founder of Chinese historiography. Essentially, he was their initial historian. However, he took a look at the history of this show and decided he wasn't interested. Cuts to Shinzo Abe, who says, So you're not very popular in China, eh? Hoffman. No, I guess not. I think they think I'm misinformation. Okay, anyway... Cuts to John Belushi, who says, Hey, Murfenberger, the rest of us don't want to hear about all the rest of these eunuchs, okay, Chief? Shows Chris Farley, who says, We never liked you anyway, Baldy. Just beat it already. Hoffman, oy vey. Cuts to Jerry Stiller, who says, You're not even Jewish, okay? Don't you dare say oy vey. Hoffman, all right, whatever, okay, I'll skip to the end of the list. Okay, ultimately, I went with uh, Oregon, Origin, I don't know how to pronounce it, O-R-I-G-E-N, okay, you want to talk compliant. Okay, this young man was an early Christian, okay, we're talking pre-Constantine Christian, okay, that means he's like a guy who got vaxxed in 2017 or something, okay, very out of the curve when it comes to compliance, okay, anyway, he was so compliant with the forthcoming Christian empire that when he read Matthew 19.12, that says, there are eunuchs who have made themselves eunuchs for the sake
sake of the kingdom of heaven, he cut his fucking balls off, okay? So ultimately, I think that YouTube in origin will be a better fit, okay? Not that the fit matters with origin, am I right? But anyway, does anyone wonder what I'll be up to next? Cuts to Norm MacDonald, who says, No, please finally leave us all alone, Murphy. You're finished in this town. Your own imagination. Hoffman, yikes, okay. How about you, Grandma Murphy? Will you miss me? Cuts to Eileen Murphy, who says, Beat it, grandson. Cuts to Father Joe Murphy. You're a disgrace. Why? Tom, a disgrace. Don't ever come back to your imagination again. Hoffman, oh, thanks, Uncle Joe. Okay, I'm sure you'll prefer origin. Okay, anyway, goodbye, everybody, okay? I hope that snot will, uh, hey, what the hell's going on? Joe Scott Hall, Andre the Giant, Randy Savage, and Rowdy Roddy Piper forcibly removing Hoffman and throwing him through a door to the outside of the room. Cuts to Hoffman outside with his face on the ground. He looks up and sees Desmond Tutu and Nelson Mandela. Tutu, hey, Nelson, looks like we just found ourselves a Christmas tree. Mandela cracks his knuckles and says, I can't wait to lay the Mandela effect on this motherfucker. And live from Tom's phone, we're not alive. It's Saturday Not Live Neuter, starring an ever-evolving cast that has been castrated and refuses to allow their names to be mentioned until their balls are back. Musical guest, Farinelli. And your host, Lee Harvey Oswald. Ladies and gentlemen, Lee Harvey Oswald. Tepid applause. Oswald. Thank you. Oswald takes out a piece of paper from his pocket and reads aloud. I could not be more pleased to be hosting... Saturday Night Live Snoddle Neutered, sponsored by Domestic Intelligence. God bless Domestic Intelligence. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you all that I acted alone. The umbrella guy thought it might rain. And Jack Ruby was just a very big fan of the president. He did not shoot me for any other reason. I said I was a patsy because I was trying to get out of the jam. I was a liar, just like those nefarious purveyors of misinformation. Oswald begins to cry as the host of Saturday Night Live Snoddle neutered. I wanted to make sure that, that all our listeners know that all COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective. And then not getting vaxxed means you're trying to kill your grandparents. Oswald drops the piece of paper and falls to the ground and begins sobbing uncontrollably. I acted alone. There is no God. There is no God. Chris Farley comes out and begins biting Oswald's head. Cuts to Phil Hartman in the audience who says, Well, hey there, Chris who I won't body shame with an offensive remark about your weight. Why are you biting the host, Lee Harvey Oswald? Farley, he said he was a pastry. Hartman, no, Chris, he didn't say he was a pastry. He said he was a patsy. Farley, oh, Hartman. But more importantly than that, Chris, he said today that he wasn't actually a patsy. And he acted alone. Oswald, make it stop! Make it stop! Farley, anyway, we have a great show tonight. Baronelli is here. So remember, be sure to get vaccinated. And don't forget your booster shots. We'll be...